detecting today for the first time in eight days. I'm at one of my spots and it lost quite a bit. There's a lot of piles. But lots of piles and stuff. A lot of trees down. There's some more over at the other side, but these are very, very old trees and it just ripped right up. Now in these little things would be a good place to look. There was any bottles or anything that came up but they cleaned it up quite a bit i drove by here the other day they had about 50 or 60 prisoners cleaning up because it is a county or no city property actually so they made neat little piles the excavators did mess up the ground a little bit but hey at least they didn't lose the house well here's my first target it's being back out. Not quite sure what it is exactly. It rang up a 90. Not quite sure. Something. Don't know. Well, I just found this. I feel like I should know what this is. But I don't. Anybody has any idea, please let me know on this one. It's iron, and it's, uh, I don't even want to say. I don't know. Not sure what it is. Well, I am in a burn pile right now, as you can see from my very black fingers. I have a coin. I wiped it off, and I can see it. It is a Jefferson, but hopefully it's a silver nickel. I did nick it, and it looks silver. Come check it out. <clears throat> I wiped it off here. It's a Jefferson. 1943. So I believe that has to be a war nickel. <clears throat> I nicked it right there. Yep, you can see the P up at the top. Sorry about my disgusting band aid right now. Cut myself at work. P, there we go. We got some silver today. Nice. 35% silver. It is all burnt, but it's still silver. It's giving me a very wonky tone. Definitely doesn't look silver, the shape it's in. There, there might be more. That's why, next to a nail. Alrighty, well we got a silver nickel and a round nail in the very same hole. Sweet. Another one of those mailbox letters. Uh, I believe it was an E. At one point in time. And a U. There's a cute, cool old fuse. Bus. B U S S. Um, electric, electricity safety valve, I believe. 125 volts, 20 amps. It's intact. Okay, I got a nice live dig for you. Let's check it out. It's beeping 70 to 75, right in an area where I found a bunch of silver. Little pieces of silver that did the exact same thing. Let's show you on the screen here. 70, 75. Let's go ahead and dig her up. I'll sit you down on the tripod and we'll dig it.
Oh, I've got it. It's right here. It's round. Ah. I don't think it's anything. Nope. Just a lid. Some sort. Whatever that may be. Well, this is a pretty perfect square nail right here. And we got some glass in the hole there. This thing was burned. That is a beauty. I'm gonna keep that one. Well, a couple more things out of here. Got this nice little D buckle here. And this doohickey has a cap on it. I thought it was a core of a battery at first. Still might be. It's barely giving off a signal. I think that's what it might be, a battery core. Well, here is some pretty doggone bad damage. That is a big break. So much. I just heard another one fall not too long ago, so I need to be careful over here, big time. I don't want one of these cracking me in the head. Okay, I'm gonna get out from under here in a second. Yeah, that's bad. Well, let's check this out. I just cleaned it off. That is a lipstick tube. You can see the top there. There is some writing around it, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to read it. 74 signal. An old probably Maybelline lipstick tube, 20s or 30s. All right, folks, let's go over my finds. Now, I did dig a ton of junk today. Whole mess full of cans and crap in here. Some of this up here is junk too, but let's go over it. That was like the first signal of the day. 90 signal. Big old part to a car. That was way under there, but it broke off. I couldn't get the rest out. Um, a bunch of casings. That's a 38 Smith and Wesson. A battery core. Uh Pretty nice square nail. It was on a fire, so it looks pretty good. And that one was made into something, I think. It was like made into a hook, and it looked like it had something else on the end of it. Maybe they repurposed that nail. Little bike valve. This has me thinking like a Coke bottle opener or something, but just the way it looks, but I could be really wrong. Um, like talcum powder lid. A uh, little brass or copper fittings, debuckle, a whole bunch of letters, um, lipstick tube, I think that was steel, uh, part to a CR sardine can opener, BUSS, uh, electricity safety valve, 20 amp, 125 volts. That iron piece. We got a silver nickel that was in a fire, 1943. I cleaned it up, I sprayed it down with the foo foo juice and the P mint mark up at the top. It does not look silver anywhere except for where I scratched it, but 35% silver. For to a old Coke bottle, an old square medicine cork top bottle. Some blue pottery, some pottery with some like gold leaf on it, and just plain white and a little shard of glass. 
So that's it for the hunt today. Very first hunt in eight days since Irma decided to uh, grace us with their presence. So there we have it folks. Hope you enjoyed and I will be back out very soon again.